Hello, this is Tom, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to hand write a program to mill the internal diameter of a bore on a CNC mill. I'm going to show you a couple of different techniques that you can choose from depending on the application that you'll be using it for. All right, so for the first technique, we're going to be milling a two inch diameter using a half inch end mill, and we're going to start in the middle of the circle where we have x0, y0. Then we're going to move in a straight line to the start of our circle and then we're going to go halfway around then back to the start point and then back to the center alright so when we look at our code here on the right we are wrapping to x0 y0 in relation to G54 work offset then we're doing a G43 which picks up our tool offset for tool 1 H1 and wrap it to a Z.250 clearance plane. Then we are feeding with a G1 to Z minus 0.5 depth with a feed rate of 60 inches a minute. Then the first thing we're going to do is make a straight line move using G1 to Y.750. Now the diameter of the circle is 2 inches, so half the diameter is 1 inch. So we are programming to the center line of the tool. So the first move we're making is to Y.750. You have to remember we are programming to the center of the tool. The tool is a half inch diameter, so we're going to stop short 250 thousandths where the tool is actually touching the ID of the bore. Now from there we're making a counterclockwise move, and I'll show you that, and that would be a G3 that is a counterclockwise arc to Y minus 0.750 again that is on the minus side of Y0 we're programming to the center point of the tool the tool is a half inch so we're staying away a quarter of an inch from that one inch radius alright so then the I and J now when we were at the start point of the circle the distance in X from the center point of the tool to the center point of the radius has no value. There is no X value. Now, the J stands for the distance in the Y direction from the center line of the tool to the center point of the radius. So in this case, J is minus 0.750. So on this G3 line, the Y minus 0.750 is the end point and the I and J are the X and Y values of the distance from the center point of the radius to the center point of the arc. So those are the values at the start of the radius. All right, so let's complete that move. So now we are at Y minus 0.750 and we're gonna go back up to the Y 0.750. So the G3 stays modal, so there's no need to mention it again on the same line. So again, the end point is Y.750. So if we go there, then that is the end point. You saw that we were going in the counterclockwise motion, and that, that of course means that we are climb milling. And then the I at the start point in, is the X distance from the center point of the end mill to the center point of the radius, which is zero. And then the J, in this case, is a plus 750 thousandths distance from the center point of the end mill to the center point of the arc. So again, that I and J is the distance from the center point of the end mill to the center point of the arc that we are milling at the start point of that arc. All right, so let's complete that move. All right, so the next thing we need to do is move away from that circle back to the center. So we're going to do G1, Y0. So let's complete that move. Now, since that is a straight line move, we have to make sure that put a G1, Y0 to change it from a G3 counterclockwise arc mode to making a straight line move. All right, and then we just wrap it out to a Z1 inch clearance plane. All right, so that's it for the first technique that I wanted to go over. Now, what I wanted to make you aware of is that when you make that first move in a straight line move to the start of the arc, the servos have to stop 
the direction of the y axis to start the x and y motion of the arc. So at this point where the servo actually has to stop and change directions, it tends to make a little ding in your part. So the next technique I want to show you, we're actually going to arc in to that radius. All right, so this next technique I wanted to show you is how we actually take the tool and we arc into the diameter of our part at the beginning and the end of our tool path. Now that's going to require a couple of extra lines of code to be able to do that, but I wanted you to have the option to not have that ding in the start point of your arc and have a nice clean bore. So let's take a look at the code and see how we can do that. Alright, so for this example we're still going to use the 2 inch diameter bore and we're still using the half inch end mill. We're going to wrap it to X0, Y0 which is the center of the bore and we're going to feed to Z minus 0.5. Then the first thing we're going to do is make a straight line move to the start point of our lead in arc. So let's go ahead and complete that move. So we are now sitting at X0, Y.5. Then we're going to do a counterclockwise arc in move, so that is a G3 to Y.750. So at Y.750 our tool will be touching the diameter of our circle. So the I and J value at the start point of the arc, the I representing the X distance will be a zero and the J we're going to be swinging a 125 thousandths arc so the J value is a plus distance from the center point of the tool to the center point of the radius alright so we're going to go ahead and complete that move and then the G3 stays modal for these next three moves so the very next move is going from the top to the bottom of the circle. So let's go ahead and complete that. So now we're sitting at y minus 0.750. Again, at the start point, the x distance, which is the i, is 0 to the center point of the arc, and the j minus 0.750 is the distance from the center point of the end mill to the center point of the big radius we're swinging. Alright, so we're completing that move. The next move we're going back up to y.750 so let's complete that and the i and j is the x and y distance from the start point of that radius i being 0 and j.750 in a plus direction. Alright so from this point we're going to arc out back to the y.5 so let me show that and again the i is the x value from the start point to the center point of the radius and the j is now a minus direction from that start point to the center point of the radius. Alright so let's complete that and then we're going back to y0 in a straight line move. Remember now we're switching from g3 to straight line move so you gotta make sure you put a g1 back to Y0 and then we're wrapping out of the hole to a Z1 inch clearance plane. Alright that was it for this video I hope that was helpful to you. In the next video I'm going to show you how to use this code add variables to it and then be able to use any size tool milling any size diameter bore with just changing two of the variables without having to change any other code. So I hope to see you in that video. Thanks for watching.